Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University. I'm going to explain Hella in about a minute. Hella's first appearance was in Journey into Mystery number 102 in March of 1964, and she was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Pulled directly from the Norse mythology, Hella is the Queen of Hell, which is the realm of the dead situated in a pocket dimension in Niflheim, a realm of infinite cold. Hella reigns and draws power from all who die within her domain, including ice giants, fire demons, dwarves and trolls, the light elves of Alfheim, and the dark elves of Svartalfheim. Even the occasional Asgardian. She can even claim the souls of the mortals of Midgard, or Earth, who worship the Norse pantheon. The only souls she does not rule over are the honorable dead, those who died with weapon in hand, fighting bravely. Those are ruled by Odin directly, in the halls of Valhalla, which rests in a remote part of Asgard. Hela is rumored to be one of the children of Loki, as it is in standard mythology, however, her Marvel origins are, according to Hela herself, more complicated than that. The Norns, who are the three Asgardian goddesses of fate, warned Odin that Hela would pose a great threat to him, so he decreed that, on the day of her maturity, she should become the Queen of the Dead and be given her own kingdom. She is extremely powerful, able to rival and pose significant threat to Odin. Her powers allow her virtually anything imaginable, and she has enough clout to hold court with other interdimensional beings of similar power, like Mephisto and Dormammu. She can strip away the immortality of a god, fight Thor hand-to-hand -to, -hand to a standstill, and wield the dreaded Night Sword, a weapon of power as great as Mjolnir. Yet, without her cloak, she reverts back to her original form, that of a half-dead giantess too weak to stand on her own. While other Lords of the Dead may have more souls at their disposal, the souls in Hela's possession are amongst the most powerful in existence, making her terrifyingly strong. However, she is also noble. Once, when Odin had taken his attention away from the dead of Valhalla, Hela started a war to take over Asgard. Odin fought with fury, but was losing the battle. Eventually, he vowed to take better care of the warriors of Valhalla, and that was enough to sate Hela, who withdrew her armies, swearing to hold Odin to his promise. And that's Hela, in about a minute.